Hi, today I'll be doing a detailed review of LibraCAD, a free and open source 2D CAD software that's becoming one of the most popular drafting tools out there in 2025. In this video, we'll cover everything that you need to know about it, an in-depth overview, its main features, the pricing, the pros and cons, and we'll come up with a conclusion on why LibraCAD stands out as the best 2D CAD software in 2025, or if it does stand out. LibraCAD is a free, open source CAD application that focuses entirely on 2D design. It was originally created as a fork of another program called QCAD, and it has since grown into its own independent project, maintained and improved by a global community of developers and users. What makes LibraCAD so appealing is its mission, to provide a professional grade drafting solution that is accessible to everyone. Unlike commercial CAD tools that lock features behind expensive paywalls, LibraCAD is licensed under the GPL, which means it is completely free to use, modify, and share. So whether you're a student, a hobbyist, or a professional, you don't have to worry about subscription costs or limited trials. Everything is available to you at no charge. It's also interesting to know that LibraCAD is cross-platform. So it works on Windows, it works on macOS and Linux. That makes it a versatile option for anyone, regardless of their operating system. And because it's open source, it continues to evolve with contributions from users all around the world. Now let us talk about the main features of LibraCAD. File format supports. LibraCAD works with DXF files natively, which are one of the most widely used CAD file formats. You can also export your drawings to formats like PDF, SVG, and image files, making it easy to share your work with clients, colleagues, or teachers. How about drawing tools? It comes with the standard tools that you'd expect. Points, lines, circles, arcs, polylines, ellipses, text, hatches, and dimensions. You can build precise 2D geometry with this. So if it's a floor plan, a machine part, or an electrical layout, it surely works. Layer system. Layers are a big deal in CAD. LibreCAD lets you separate your drawing into layers, which is perfect for organizing complex projects. For example, you might have one layer for dimensions, another for furniture layouts, and another for structural details. Customizable interface. You can tailor the workspace to your liking. Toolbars, menus, and dock areas can be arranged however you prefer, and this boosts productivity. Command line inputs. For users who prefer precision through commands, LibraCAD has a built-in command line. So it's excellent for professionals who are used to AutoCAD style workflows. Plugs in and extensions. Well, it's primarily a 2D tool, but LibraCAD allows plugins that extend its functionality. So developers in the community often create add-ons for specialized tasks. How about the pricing of LibraCAD? Well, one of the biggest selling points of LibraCAD is that it is completely free. And as earlier mentioned, open sourced. What about the pros and cons of using this platform? First, we talk about the pros. As I earlier mentioned, it is completely free and open source. That's number one pros. It works across different operating systems, Windows, macOS and Linux. If you have used AutoCAD before, then the interface will be familiar to you, so it's easy to transition. And it offers a solid set of 2D drafting tools. They have a large and supportive global community. How about the cons? It is strictly for 2D drafting, no 3D modeling capabilities. Some advanced features that you will find in the paid tools are missing, even though it's free. And the documentation and the tutorials are gradually improving. So would you say LibreCAD is the best 2D CAD software in 2025? Well, for a few reasons. First, it's accessible to absolutely everyone. No price tag, fully open sourced. Second, it provides a solid balance of essential tools and customization. And third, the community is a huge strength. Now, it's true that if you need 3D modeling or enterprise-level performance, that LibreCAD won't meet those needs. But for what it's designed to do, this 2D card drafting, it does the job exceptionally well. If you're looking to try other alternatives, you may explore QCAD, FreeCAD, and AutoCAD. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.